Hello everybody, uh, I'm officially on my way to Lubbock, Texas. I left uh, Ottawa this morning and I am about halfway there, I have about five hours left. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting there. But I had a really special announcement that I wanted to say. Uh, not really, well, a really special shout out, I guess. Um, I wanted to say congratulations uh, to Paige Wagner, who did really awesome at Junior Gold. And uh, she just found out the other day that she is going to be uh, competing. She qualified for Team USA Trials in January, which is a tournament that I do every year. And I love that tournament. Um, and so uh, as long as it happens this year, because uh, it didn't last year. But anyways, as long as it happens uh, this coming year, then uh, I will definitely look forward to seeing her there. And definitely get her in the vlog uh, for you guys to meet. So that would be pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm about halfway to Lubbock, uh, looking forward to this weekend. Um, going to be bowling Saturday. Uh, I believe it's an eight-game block, and yeah, hoping for the best. We're bowling on a 44-foot um, pattern. It is the Carmen Salvino, PBA Carbon Salvino pattern. So I'm really excited for it. I've been practicing on it a couple of times the last week or so, and been shooting a lot of spares the last week, and doing a lot of workouts and running every day. So trying to get my body back in shape before the college season starts. So I'm really excited for this tournament and looking forward to it. So... Let's go. Sup, everybody. Welcome to my hometown, Lubbock, Texas, uh, for this weekend's PBA Lubbock Sports Open. And I'm really excited. Uh, got to meet up with a bunch of my friends uh, that bowl here on the PBA Tour today in the practice session. Uh, it's currently Friday. Tomorrow, I bowl in the morning. I'm bowling A Squad. Uh, so that'll be really exciting. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's the one I was hoping for. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. And I can't wait. And uh, so, yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned, guys. Tomorrow morning is going to be awesome. And I'm going to uh, go get some dinner with my really good friend, Steven, right now, which I'm really excited for. Uh, going to get some great pizza. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Say hi to Brad, everybody. <laughs> what up? What you got, Brad? How's it going? Well, I don't have to pull the Pro-Am. So we get to go home. Okay. Or to the Airbnb. Yeah. But... I got B-Squad tomorrow. What do you got? I got A-Squad. The thing about B-Squad is I get to watch you guys bowl before I go in, so that's nice. That's right. But pretty standard pattern. Did you have a good look? I did. I don't think it's one of those patterns that's, like, really tricky and people use your thing. It's a pretty straightforward. There's room. There's a little bit of room. You throw kind of whatever reactive ball you want. And yeah, we'll see. Who's Absolutely. sharp? We haven't bowled much. Those so are wise words. Who's going to be sharp? Absolutely. All right, Brad. Good, good luck tomorrow, luck, my man. man. Yep. You gonna win tomorrow? No, yeah. No. Left side. How you feeling about the left side? Uh, it's alright. It's alright. Hopefully, I can just make some spares. Okay. Make some spares. Look at you. Weren't you? Uh, I'm watching you. So. Weren't you the uh, regional player of the year in the Southwest? Uh, rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Thank Look you. at you. Thank you. Getting your name out there. <laughs> what a G. What a G. <laughs> I don't know. Man, Dio Bernard, everybody. Right. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, man.
Hey, Steven. Oh. Give me an outro for the vlog. That's it for Lubbock. Hope everybody enjoyed watching it. Did a lot of great bowlers. Tough shot. Subscribe. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Steven. You're welcome. Hey guys, uh, so I just wanted to recap today real quick for you. Uh, I bowled A-Squad this morning. We had eight games, as you saw there. 263, kind of a weird score. Uh, but yeah, I had front seven that game, and I was the leader after one. Felt great uh, until it uh, went away very quickly. Um, as you saw, I had a rough two, uh, second and third games. And it just, I mean, it's hard to describe. The second pair was just a tough pair, five and six, in my opinion. And then the pair after that, I just didn't get far enough left. And our squad got really, really far left really early. I had a couple of mismakables today. I think uh, four, maybe five. Um, a couple of chopped spares in the 10th frame. I chopped a three, six and two 10th frames. And that, that sucked. Um, but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop working hard. I'm gonna keep trying my hardest out here, um, you know, and going into this college season. And I'll be going to Vegas uh, in September to do the TAT, um, which you guys will get a vlog for, of course. And I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep working hard. Uh, I've been working out every day and running a bunch to try and get myself back in shape. And I really want to be in great shape for this college season. It's my senior year. I want to have a great year. And, you know, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself by doing some really big tournaments like this one here, the PBA. And it was it was tough. Um, total for the day was negative 37. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't, I didn't throw the ball very good in a few games. A few games I threw it great, especially at the start for the first game. And it was tough. It really was. Uh, shout out to everybody that gave me the support. Really appreciate it. Shout out to Turbo, of course, for always supporting me. Uh, being uh, regional staff with them is amazing. Uh, be sure to check them out. Facebook linked down in the description below. Turbo 2 and one Grips on Twitter as well. Uh, be sure to check that out. And guys, uh, enjoy some shots here of Sunday. The, uh, the cashers round and the match play and the stepladder. Uh, I'm going to throw in some shots right now for you guys. So enjoy and I will see you in the outro. What's up guys? I'm here with Bryce Catahan and he is interning for the PBA. How are you liking it so far? <laughs> Love it so far. It's a dream come true. I've worked super hard to get to this position and I'm hoping that like if this goes forward that I can still continue to keep going to the sport of bowling and showcase more. That's right. We need people like him around the sport of bowling. Uh, we really do. Um, so uh, what are your plans for this coming uh, fall? For this coming fall uh, I'm going to finish up my junior year of college. Uh, then hopefully I get invited to do this internship again next year, then hopefully it's a full-time job. So we'll see. Absolutely. Yeah, and you bowl in college? Yeah, I bowl at Belmont yeah. Abbey. Absolutely. And so if you're ever at college tournaments, be sure to look for this guy uh, bowling for them because oh, give you yourself definitely some need credit. to talk Come to on. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you definitely need to talk to this guy. You need to meet him. He's a very personable guy, very good guy, and I think he's doing a great job for the PBA. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. So best of luck out there, and may the camera always have a full battery. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
What's up, guys? Here with Darren Tang. Send us home. We're signing out here from the Lubbock Sports Open. Yes, sir. It's been real. Yes, sir. It's been a roller coaster. Congrats to Maldi. That's right. Sub to Darren on YouTube. Yeah, man. What's up to this guy? If you're watching, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Hit that red button. There's no reason not to. It helped him. No effort on your part. You just got to go. Right. No feet. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks, man. He's out. <laughs>